Welcome back to the channel, Guitars, Mods, and Music. Today we're going to talk about my secret little weapon on how to wire up guitars and know you have it right before you solder. There's so many makers out there, so many guys making pickups now, boutique pickups, you know, they all have different colors. Well, you can get on the internet and you can find just about every one of them. They'll have diagrams like this that you can print out. It shows the colors, you know, and that's that's great. I mean, it's completely helpful. You re you need it, you know, get on get online, Google it. The pickups, almost every maker has something there for you. The trick is if you're say uh, putting a Seymour Duncan in and you're keeping some fender pickups well the colors change at that point and there's diagrams for it but it can get really confusing so the way to to get around all that is I make these little leads with alligator clips on the end of them get on Amazon and you can get all the different colors you know it would take a long time before you use all that up and these are basically all the colors you'll find on all the different pickups. 22 gauge, get it on Amazon, and, and this is not a sponsored video, it's just what we do on this channel. And I'm just trying to let you in on little tricks that I do. So you can get them that wiring on Amazon. I get these little alligator clips down at the local hardware store. I got a little screw right there. And I cut cut them you know about six inches or so they don't have to be real long pick up some of these wire cutters down there and they've got strippers on them make sure you get ones that get all the way down to 22 gauge that's a, it's a small wire pick them up at the hardware store so it's marked on here what size gauges you strip your wire back just put it on there grab her like that pull her out there it is I usually take and twist the end of it like that that way them little, the little wires ain't frayed out all over the place. It's that simple. And I take and I run it right up through that hole and right around that screw and tighten it down. Then I take these same trimmers, squeeze that down tight on there. There you got it. Do that on both ends. Then I take a cut some little pieces of electrical tape. You don't have to do this. I do it. Because when you get on them little volume and tone pots, they're close together and you don't want anything touching or you're not gonna know for sure if you got it right. And I wrap it around there, just like that, and you can still open and close it, see? Take a couple pieces, wrap them around there. That way you can still open and close it. You don't have to put them tight, that way, if you got two of these on a lug somewhere, they're not touching like that. So you hook them on your lugs. So then you get your diagrams and you go, okay, you know, the black goes to the switch, clip it, clip it, and you just follow through. And I use the same color wires, you know, I get all the different colored wires, use the same wires that they're using on their pickups. That way it doesn't get confusing. Connect them all, take my input, plug it into my, to the jack, and set there with the screwdriver. Put it on the neck pickup, does it work? Put it on the bridge pickup, does it work? Tap on it, put it in the middle. They both working, yeah. Well, let's try the volume. Turn the volume down, nope, nothing's working. Turn it back up. Turn the tone down. Get a softer sound, yep. Turn it back up. Get a brighter sound, okay, it's working. If you're gonna use a uh, push pull, if you're gonna use a push pull for your uh, coil splits, pull it, see if it's dropped in, in volume, you know. You can tell, pop it back in, boom, boom, boom. Once you know you have everything and everything's working, solder it together, no big deal. You're not going to blow these things up, you know. If you're wrong, you're going to know you're wrong. Figure it out first. Use these little clips. There's so many different pickups out there now, different color combinations. You're not going to hurt a thing by going through, hooking everything up, have it set in there, 
Test it first, then solder it together. Put it all in your guitar, slap some strings on it, and rock and roll. I'm going to walk you through wiring a Telecaster, and we're going to do it together before I solder it up and kind of see see the steps and, and how to do it. So, you know, you just need a little electrical tape, wire strippers, alligator clips, a pair of scissors, some wire. You keep them things around for the next one. Know before you solder. That's the whole, the whole plan. Save you some time. Takes a little bit of time to make these up, you know, half hour, 45 minutes or something, uh, you know, to make up enough to do a whole wiring job. But it's worth it because next time you won't have to do it. These things, put them in a box and next time you're gonna wire something up, go for it. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Let me know if you've, uh, let me know if you've ever wired one up and realized you had it wrong after you had it wired all together. Let me know in the comments. And until the next episode, remember, play your guitars, mod your guitars, and make them your own.